guys, welcome back. So I've got a tutorial for you today using the Kat Von D Monarch palette. I have been loving this palette. I have a whole review and swatches video on it. I'll link it down below for you. And I've actually already filmed one tutorial with it and it was the look that I was wearing in that review video. I haven't posted that yet, but it is coming soon. But today the look is very kind of dark and smoky. Um, technically it's not a smoky eye because there is a pop of lighter color in the middle of my lid. But I really like the way it came out. It's just like, I think it's fun for a girl's night or a date with your husband or you're just feeling sassy and you just want a little bit of a darker eye look that day. So I really enjoy it. I hope that you like the way it came out. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. This is a collab with my friend Hannah from Beauty Chats. Love Hannah. I don't know how much I really talk about her on my channel. I know I mentioned her several times, but um, she is one of my very, very dear YouTube friends. We talk all the time. She is a precious, sweet person. I love her and her channel is amazing. She is absolutely stunningly gorgeous and her videos are amazing. She does amazing tutorials, great reviews. She does favorites videos. She's just awesome. You will love her. So I'll link her channel and her video down below. So we're both doing looks with our Monarch palettes. So I know that she's going to have something great for us. I can't wait to watch her video. So after you watch mine, definitely go check out her channel and her video. I know you'll love her. So yeah, um, this is the look I did today with this palette, this dark kind of smoky eye with a pop of color in the middle of my lid. So if you want to see how to get it, then just keep watching. We're going to start by priming our eyes. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Fergie eyeshadow primer. Now I'm going to take Max Painterly Paint Pot and apply that to the top half of my lids to cancel out discoloration. Okay, now get some kind of a dark base. This is uh, Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Rich Mahogany. It was limited edition, but just use anything that you have that's dark. And we're going to apply this to the outer part and inner part of our lid. And clearly that doesn't have to be perfect because it's a base, so just kind of slap it on there the best you can. Now take um, some kind of a lighter champagne-y, um, lighter gold, something like that sort of a color. This is the Ulta uh, Cream Eyeshadow in Shimmering Topaz, and I'm going to apply that to the middle of my eyelid, right there in the center. Okay, now that we have our base down, we're going to go in with our Monarch palette. I'm going to get some of Vanish on a blending brush. This is a Sedona Laced EB13 and apply that into my crease. Actually, kind of right above my crease. Crease and right above. Now I'm going to take another blending brush. This is a Sedona Lace EB09. It's really similar to the MAC 217, but I just really like this brush. Um, and we're going to get some of Wrath. This is very pigmented, so you just need a little tiny bit. And I'm going to apply that into my crease and right up into my transition. Because this is so pigmented, I like to mix it with something else, at least for this look. You can go full on because it's a gorgeous color. But for this look, I'm going to mix it with um, a little bit of that Vanish. Now I'm going to go in with a small crease brush. This is a, I don't even know what this is, but I got this from CVS. I'm going to get some of Shadow Box, and we're going to apply this to the inner, the inner, no, the inner and the outer part of our lid, and I'm going to connect it over my crease right in that area. So here, here, and then connecting the two. And then you can go back in with your blending brush and just really blow out those lines so that everything is nice and blended together. And if you ever feel like you get just a little bit too much product, too much shadow, and it's getting too deep and dark, I just get a little bit of my face powder and kind of go over that area. And it just lightens it a little bit. And sometimes if I just feel like I've gone too much on my eye makeup, this will kind of lighten it just a little bit. So that's what I'm doing, just on this inner part right here, because it was getting just a little bit dark. Now I'm going to apply some of Entomology as my brow bone highlight. 
Now I'm going to take a really tiny eyeshadow brush. I don't even know what this is. I think it's Sedona Lace something. And I'm going to get some of Summerfly. And we're going to apply that right to the center of our lids and blend that over into shadow box. And now to help those shadows just really blend together a little bit more, I'm going to take some of Disintegration and apply that with that same tiny brush and kind of connect those colors. I'm very, very lightly applying this. It's just to kind of help those blend. And then I want to lighten up the middle part of my lid just a little bit, so I'm going to get a little bit of telepathy and apply just the tiniest little bit to the very center of that gold. I'm kind of creating a slow gradient there. Now I'm applying some of Shadow Box to my lower lash line on the outer half. And then I'm applying just a little bit of telepathy on the inner half of my lower lash line. Now take your favorite liner. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Pencil, and this is in um, black velvet. And line your eyes however you want to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line my lower lash line and my waterline. I'm going to tight line and then do a very thin line on my upper lash line. So you can do a little bit of a wing if you want to, which I probably will do just a little bit of a wing, um, but it's totally up to you. I just want to keep this kind of um, smoky and not a super thick line, but I do like to angle just a little bit on the outer corners because my eyes kind of droop down a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. And then just curl your lashes and apply mascara. I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Clump Crusher and my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Alright guys, so here is the finished look. Just stay tuned to find out what I used on the rest of my face. For foundation, I'm wearing my Estee Lauder Double Wear set with my e.l.f. High Definition Powder. This is amazing. I love this powder so much. Um, for bronzer, I'm wearing, this is the Jane Bronzing Powder in Inspire. I love this. This is new and I am obsessed with it. It is so good. Um, for blush, I'm wearing two different things. This is the MAC Casual Color Lip and Cheek Color in For Your Amusement. This is part of the Playland collection that came out recently, so I don't know if you can still get your hands on this, but I love it. it smells like MAC lipsticks. It's so good. I love these things. They are so fun. So I'm wearing that. And then over that, um, I'm wearing this e.l.f. Pressed Mineral Blush in Sweet Retreat. It's just a really great wearable pink that goes with a bunch of different things, and it's very pigmented, it blends really well. These mineral blushes from e.l.f. are great, and they're like $5, I think. And then for highlighter, I'm wearing my Laura Mercier. This is the Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01. I've had this for a while, but then I heard my friend Ashley from Texas Mommy of Boys, I'll link her channel as well, um, talking about it, and this is so pretty. She was saying that it's one of the, her products that makes her feel pretty. And I was like, you know what? I love that. I need to get mine back out because I kind of forget about it. And it's just like really, really beautiful and glowy. And it's just a gorgeous highlight. I love it. So I've got that on. And then for lips, I'm wearing my MAC lipstick in Lovelorn. Just a really beautiful mid-tone pink. I love it. Goes with a bunch of different things nice luster finish so it's luster yeah luster finish so it's really easy to work with very kind of glossy and then over it I have my NYX butter gloss in vanilla cream by, by? <laughs> vanilla cream pie um, it's just a really nice mid-tone pink goes with a bunch of different things and matches love Lauren really well all right guys so that is the finished look and tutorial I hope that you really enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know what kind of looks have you been doing with your monarch palette are you as obsessed with this thing as I am 
because I love it. It is so amazing. Um, and definitely do not forget to go check out Hannah and her channel and her video. I'll link it down below for you. I know you're going to love her and love what she does. Um, if you're coming over from Hannah's channel, welcome. I hope that you'll check out some of my other videos and stay for a while. I would love to have you to my channel. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this. I will see you in the next video.